Here's a word picture for you. Giant, hairy, muscle-bound men, short skirts. <laughs> it was the site today in Papillion, athletes competing in the Highland Games. The global competition circuit is part of an ancient Scottish tradition. We sent Brandon Scott to check it out. These brawny, world-class athletes don't mind showing a little leg. I have on my kilt, I have on my, my dress, the, the normal attire for a Scottish athlete. The kilt is the official uniform for athletes like Nathan Burchett competing in the Highland Games, an athletic tradition for both men and women, which hasn't changed much since the games were first played in Scotland more than 1,400 years ago. The games highlight feats of strength, with competitors literally throwing stones, some weighing nearly 20 pounds. Using a pitchfork, they toss bales. The higher the toss, the better the score. There's hammer throwing, where momentum is key. And then the iconic caber toss, balancing and flipping giant wooden pillars nearly the size of a telephone pole. While this weekend's event was in Papillion, the games are played around the world, and some of the best athletes like Nathan Burchett go pro. You're not going to become a millionaire from Highland Games. Burchett is from Mason City, Iowa, and has been throwing these stones ever since he was a teenager. Now he's a star on the circuit, where victories can come with prize money and even sponsorships. But Burchett still has a day job. I work in IT, so I, I sit at a desk all day working, uh, working on a computer. I'm a nerd by trade and this by hobby. His family only has a fraction of Scottish blood, but they are a modern-day dynasty in the Highland Games. His little sister Emily Burchett is an all-star, too. I'm a physical therapist assistant, and that's what I do. And usually I just get a lot of weird looks when they hear me say, you know, throw telephone poles in a kilt. And the, I just get a lot of weird looks, so yeah, I usually have to explain the whole, the whole thing. Ancient athletics. The pros aren't pocketing their winnings. Instead, they're donating them to charities like St. Jude's Hospital and the American Red Cross. Reporting in Papillion with photographer Davey Burke, I'm Brandon Scott, WWT6 News. If I worked in IT and had to fix everybody's problems all day long, I think I would want to throw some telephone poles <laughs> as well. You have a little bent up energy, I <laughs> yes. would think. Well, today's competitors in Papillion traveled from Kansas, Missouri, even as far away as New Hampshire.